Hola, jogadores. Yo soy Drum, but I'm trying to learn Spanish. Just... Just no, no, it doesn't work. All right, hello everyone. I'm Drumat, and today we're going to look over this game in which I basically do a one versus nine against Grandmaster players on Europe Nordic and East. This is going to be a guide that showcases the build and the runes and the play style to carry your own games with Pantheon. This is going to be from mid, but I often do it from top as well. Now, I want to talk about the besides the rune and the build, the way. To actually play this, basically you have choices. There are the high risk, high reward playstyle you're going to see in this game. Because I often, I did a lot of good roms for this, for example. And this is the kind of game where I don't necessarily shit on the opponent on the lane phase. But I do a lot of roms and try to gain uh, something from the deaths of my teammates. Because they try to, uh, to die a lot early on. They... Uh, do some mistakes, they uh, don't, don't play perfectly and I try to go and cover the losses to get something back for their mistakes, so to say. And this is a high risk, high reward playstyle because whenever you roam you basically take a risk of losing CS elsewhere and you're, you're getting outplayed in the roam and losing uh, stuff. So if you do a successful roam and you win with it, then it's sucks, then it's a high reward roam because you're going to get stuff back, but if you fail it, well, high risk. Uh, that's one way of playing Pantheon. Another way of playing Pantheon is on top. Basically, when you play against a simple champion that you can beat, let me think something, uh, team or whatever. Uh, basically, the safe risk, safe reward is outplaying the opponent on lane on top mostly and getting a lot of kills on him. Not doing that many roams because that will just uh, hinder your farm progress and getting ahead in levels being like level 15 while the opponent's level 12. That's the second way to carry with Pantheon. But this way that I'm going to show it is on the mid where it's more roam oriented. Basically on mid lane you do that. You do not you're going to be a lot of against a lot of mages, which you won't necessarily be 10-0 in every lane phase, but on top you can be if you are outplaying consistently, because the opponents can't really not int that simple as compared to mid. Now, I'm gonna go straight through the build and runes very fast. I'm gonna mute it, pause it here, let's see the runes. Okay, I'm playing with Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coupe de Grace, Sudden Impact, Ravenous Hunter, and these rune stats. Basically, I focus on attack speed here, on the dash damage here, and the heal. I go for a different build. I play with Eclipse. I don't know if I can... I don't have the shop right here, right? Yeah, I don't have the shop. I play with Eclipse into, mm, into Armor Boots, into Ravenous Hunter, into Death's Dance. So if we click somewhere, I don't know, right here, you might see the whole build. Basically, I play with Eclipse first item, get boots as fast as you can, into Ravenous Hydra, get the Hydra, the small Hydra first from this item and the rest of them after that, into Death's Dance, and then I stacked Frozen Heart for Armor. Also, I start with Corrupting also, every time, because it's just an insanely strong, strong, sustained thing, because... You can start with a door uh, with a sword and three pots, but when you go back, you're not gonna have that sustain again. Anyway, let's see how I carried this game. Basically, one versus nine. Well, two versus eight if you count the Yumi that just attached to me in the mid game, <laughs> forever ignoring her Cassiopeia <laughs> and leaving her for me. All right, I I say one versus nine because she didn't help me much early on. I did a lot of roms, and you're gonna notice. I'm gonna speed it up till what matters. Basically. Man, why do you do you stick to me? Okay, basically I max Q, I try to poke the opponent every time, when I'm on top I try to get the kill, I do a full combo with the ignite whenever I can, that's, uh, that's pretty much the basic, I also sometimes int, but for this context uh, early, the early on won't be that spectacular, but it's going to be good, generally I try to remove the flash of the opponent, so as you can see here, he already flashed, I could have maybe flashed auto attack, they have this uh, gang from Sejuani, it looks bad, but I put the E down, I put the ignite and I also get the kill, could have got more there, it's fine really. Okay, speeding up, back into lane, as I said, max Q, then W, uh, get your ultimate at 6, 11, 16, do roams as often as you can, as you see here I pinged that I'm coming from a mile away, getting the kill onto this, moving top, 
a lot of roms as I said get the Irelia as well I'm 3-1 already lost a lot of CS you're going to see that I'm not having that much CS and also I'm taking the top farm I ping Darius to go mid because I need to break the push for Irelia because if I would have let the wave into that spot and recalled instantly she would have kept the wave around her tower close to it but not into the tower and then Darius would have been screwed this way I pushed it pinged him to go mid and then he should be fine because the wave crashed into the tower as you can see all right backing to mid you can see I'm already 10 CS behind and I'm seeing then again a Sejuani fight here Yone will follow the Lee Sin and will get the kill I can't really follow there wouldn't have done anything because Yone casted E the main combo if you really if you really want to know I generally do a full W full by full means the full bar into Q into E or just Q full bar Q into W into E and as you can see you are dealing a lot of damage with these Qs you should always try to get this damage down to get this stuff all right as you can see here I got him pretty low HP but this isn't what I want to showcase I also know he has ult now but I play cocky because I know I won't really having issues with it right now now the important part about the build is that I'm playing with sustain and sustain is king in this game also I'm going here for Rome a very bad one that is because I did the bad ult and that was just a waste of time but we get the free mountain drake here and that's very very important because that will allow us to be more tanky but Darius as you can see is already 0-3 and 30 CS behind now from this point my goal is to get my items to try to kill the opponents but as you can see I'm inting a bit here and I don't cast E in time because I forget about Yone's E proc from the Z. You always have to be careful of that if I cast D there I would have done a great thing and survived but that was my fault that was my part on inting. I FK there a bit don't know not remember what I did there I think I went somewhere. But we got here another kill on Sejuani and then we see Irelia killing Darius and then narrowly escaping us. Fairly irrelevant at this point. You can see I'm two levels behind. How can someone carry from this point with 30 CS almost and two levels behind? Well, what? Just one. Well, how can you do that? One thing would be farming a lot while the opponent ints, the other would be just roaming in the right moments. As you can see here, I'm getting this damage in. I put the ignite, I should have got the kill, but uh, Lee Sin's red got him. So we got the kill on that. Then we also got the kill on Sejuani. That was mostly me, by the way. I set up that perfectly. Yone would have died without Lee Sin, and that was a way to slowly come back into the game. I'm still behind in experience. Only now I gained the same level as Yon. And you can see I'm drilling down the plates there. Ulting top, very important to get some advantage towards my Darius. He was 0 4, I gave him a kill. Irelia gave a huge shutdown to him. I also ping that Yone went bot and I expected Yone to actually get some kills there. But as you can see, they backed off only to greed after that and to die, as far as I remember. If they don't get the kill, yeah, they will. I think they get a kill on Kaisa though. Look at the burst here. Look at the insane burst that this champion does. In terms of... Yeah, okay. You read that teleport, I remember now. That was like 4 hours ago, this game. So that's why I'm not perfectly recalling every event. Alright, so... Irelia, re Irelia, went, Irelia went and teleported bot. Basically, this is what happened. And I was here. At this moment, as if you look at my bag, I have a vision word. Which will be used exactly in this bush. Because we see, we kind of think that there are no words on the path to this. And we also hope to get the plant here, but we didn't. But we're going to word here. And what do you think is going to happen here? Look, one, two, three, four persons. I decide against staying and pushing this. And I decide to follow a roam. A roam without ult, but with flash up. This is the first high risk, high reward play I'm about to do. And this is where things start to get beautiful. I ping I, that I'm going there, I put the vision word here to be sure, flash instantly onto the Kaiza, so we're sure she does not escape, and then we back off to tower because we can't really face alone 
we can see the Eclipse procs by the way, we can't really face alone the Aurelia, and here we keep the W for this play, and we also have the Eclipse proc, we outplay the Aurelia, we go for the kill onto the uh, Rel as well, and that was 3 kills for me, and an entire level, not yet catching uh, the Yone, but we'll, we will catch him now. And as you can see, I'm starting to be exponentially fed. And with this build, with Armor Boots, with Ravenous, uh, the small Hydra part, I don't know the name of it, Tiamat, I'm dumb, I forgot it's Tiamat. We can actually, <coughs> I thought they renamed it, sorry for that cough. We can actually start to properly carry this. Okay, so we head bot for another roam here, we move back. We see that they are getting uh, someone, they caught Lysine, but we need to do more of these roams, we need to catch more people, and as you can see here, I'm getting ganked. Well, this is the time to actually outplay. Cast an E to block the Sejuani stun, get some auto attacks down, auto attack on Yonet to get the kill, proc the Eclipse, and get another double kill. This will put me ahead one level of the Yone. And this will give me a lot more. If you see me now what I'm doing, after I got the double kill on mid, I'm actually roaming bot. Kill the Kaiser and kill the support as well. So that was a quadra kill basically in less than a minute alone. Because, well alone, it's weird to say that. Because uh, technically bot got them low enough. But this is how you need to take the risk. This is how you need to carry. You have to find... I did 1 versus 3 here before, I do 1 versus 2 now, I move again for 2 kills, I do long range queues, I calculate my E properly, this is what you gotta do to actually carry with this. <coughs> Sorry, but can't talk that much without cough. Again, Yone did the mistake of dashing towards the tower, I caught here the Sejuani after that, cause if Yone died, well, 0-6 Sejuani won't be a problem. Alt again, get the spear onto the Kaiser, and the support has nothing to do with it. As you can see, I'm already pretty ahead in gold <laughs> from that 700 gold bounty. Ravenous Hydra into Eclipse, into Boots. I see also here a Irelia. I get also a shutdown on her. So basically, Irelia is here, gets the kill on Lee Sin. Okay, I get the Yumi movement speed. I try to dash onto a minion to get some movement, to get some distance. I get uh, the Irelia into my head and then I try to predict exactly with the Q. So that was nice. So Irelia is the one player trying to keep the game alive, Irelia and Yone both. And then we go bot again. And they see me, it's fine, because now they are aware that I can actually murder a lot of people. And they backed off, but what I do here is get this word, move here, jump here, and then I'm gonna get caught by them, technically. But I keep fighting, and as you can see here, I'm gonna almost, almost get them all. But you can see the movement speed. Alright, flash there. Alright, listen is gonna get that. Alright, jump here. Should have focused here the Irelia, but I tried to keep... I know I know Cass Cassio will do fine. And this was another fight where me and... You, now Yumi jumps on me. This is another fight where we managed to, manage to actually win this. And look how it started, guys. I knew they had words around here, so I had to be creative. I know there was a plant. I jumped with it. Okay. I see the rail. I jump instantly on whoever I can. As I know Lissin is also coming and I know I'm very strong. So, focus down the Sejuani, then move towards the Kaiser. I know Kaiser can't do anything to me. And you see, I'm trying to proc a lot the Eclipse, but I also need to get away from the Irelia, because Irelia can murder me. So I try to stay away from the huge damage sources and get the kills on the non-damage sources while my teammates come to help. Also, the burst is insane. Do the full combo and you're going to get some kills. Then again, I'm roaming here, getting another kill onto the Sejuani. I don't give them space to breathe, but Yonet will deal damage to me and I will int here. I will int here because I didn't proc the E properly as far as you call, or I had it on cooldown. I think I had it on cooldown here. Okay, uh, also Yumi died. That was okay. 
you can see Darius got the kill on Yone there, but we need to actually we need to actually find ways to carry this harder because my team 2-8 Darius 1-4 Yumi 2-4 Cassio and only Lee Sin trying again. Alright, so I ping that I'm coming. Yumi on on my head again. I get delivered the Kaiza instantly. We get the kill on the Kaiza. And we move towards the uh, rail kill as well. I'm not sure why the camera stopped being on the important thing that's actually me. Uh, can't click me. Did I click it? Click it! Let me slow it down. Why? Alright, done. <laughs> Cassiopeia can now kill for some reason Irelia and that gave us enough room to actually set up a Baron. We see Yone's bot and Yone is the only one who can cause this damage. I also forgot that I one shot at that guy. Basically, what I did here was I moved around here to in search for the Sijuani because if I caught her it means that the Baron would have been free. Also, I noticed Kaiza going here if I recall correctly to farm. Or not. She didn't even appear in vision. But yeah, she threw that, okay. We just jump on her instantly because we waited here for the Sejuani. And then we start the Baron. You'll notice that I tried to actually stop the enemy jungler so that they doesn't steal he doesn't steal she doesn't steal the Baron. So we put the word there, we jump, get the kill, and he will back off to the Baron. Okay, and we got it. really trying 1 versus 9 but I am exceptionally fed here. So I'm just gonna select myself from here. Alright. Because I am 18 kills in, Irelia can no longer be the threat to me that generally is. You can see also Yone has a lot of gold from the farming. And I dive here on top again. <coughs> Sorry. And I go and catch the rel again. Kaiser bolts out. It's fine. We get the tower. We keep pushing. We keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And here we catch them. We catch Yone. Uh, Sejuani will die. And Yone will die too. To the uh, dots from the Cassiopeia. And so we break the base here. But the game is far from over. A good team fight from them could actually beat us here if they actually lock CC well on me. And you can see that by the fact that we're all gonna die here. Alright, I have Yumi on me, but I'm not going to be able to live through this because I haven't killed the Kaiza. So, we entered here again, and the gold is very close, and they also get the free Drake here. So, that is that. We're not really auto winning yet. Alright. Okay, so we get the Yumi again on us and I think here is where we end the game. Basically what happens in this fight is that one that you seen at the beginning. Lee Sin is gonna get caught. Because they bait us. Kaiza properly baits us. But I know I'm very strong and I have three Omnivamp items basically. And also a lot of armor. I know I can try to test this and to, to win the fight. And if I win the fight I know I can actually carry the game to, oh, to the end of it. So, I jump in here, but you can see 2 versus 4, things looking dire. But I jump on Kaiza because I know there is their most squishy target. Full Q, he healed me up pretty well. And after I got the Kaiza kill, they aren't really matching the heal that I have from the Yumi and from myself. I think I heal myself a lot more than Yumi heals me at this point. And after I got this fight right, I just ult here, move here, get the tower, push it in. And as you've seen it, win it. That was the carry, guys. Uh, this is the build that I played with. Two, 22 kills, 8 assists, 40k damage in. Most in the game, as much as my entire team combined. And similar to their entire team. This is how to generally carry with Pantheon. And that's how you gotta do it. Now, again, two ways. High risk, high reward, a lot of roams. You have to perfect that roaming because if you're going to fail them, you're going to fall behind. Or the low risk, low reward, but still a successful method. Well, low risk, but even high reward can be said. Staying on lane on top and destroying your opponent. If you can. I'm saying low risk because there is some matchups which you will win. But it's probably low reward because eventually they should back off. Right? So again, 
you have to find these ways you have to find the kills the picks when you roam you have to be in the team fight and you have if you want you can try this build i believe it's one of the strongest right now on pantheon with eclipse into revenos into that sense those runes you've seen which which runes i'm playing again with that with uh can't select myself because that ended though okay wait with sudden impact and ravenous hunter secondary and triumph legend alacrity and cook the grace and yeah that's all please stop playing pantheon with press the attack or electrocute because it's annoying or bad and i believe you can do this as well if you practice it properly don't jump straight into a ranked game after you've seen this video if you do that you're just gonna troll your team because you probably don't know what pantheon does yet but go into the practice tool then go into normals and after five to ten games start going into flex solo queue you're going to see that this champion isn't that hard on mid and top and good luck climbing the ladder guys this is the tutorial see you next time and goodbye have a wonderful day ahead bye bye guys